right ha this is the fifth or fourth time that i'm trying to do this and every single time that i try to do it my heart races a little bit more hi hi it's good to be sitting in this chair again it's weird to be sitting in this chair again um i'm hot and i'm cold at the same time so the reality of it all is i never actually even thought that i'd be sitting in this chair i never actually even thought that i'd be sitting in this chair making this particular video but i'm saddened at the fact that i'm not seeing many african content creators talking about this i felt a sense of obligation to talk about it but i also felt a sense of if i speak about it there will be some sort of release on my side so i felt like i need to do it and here i am so weird okay so um as you can see um dealing with anxiety during quarantine i uh, i'm starting this video now i'm starting this video now uh it's been hard for me to sit down and actually film this video because i have been one of those content creators that has been struggling a lot with this i've been vlogging and you've been seeing my vlogs um i've been vlogging on the days where it felt okay to vlog uh on the days where you know just pick little bits and pieces of your day where you're feeling okay and vlog um uh, but for the 30 something 32 31 days of quarantine of of lockdown we call it lockdown the 31 or 32 days of lockdown that we have been in i have probably felt okay to vlog for maybe 10 of those days um and to be on social media and um, I feel like no one is talking about this. The one African content creator that is talking about this is Sharon. This is S from Kenya. And I love Sharon. I've been watching Sharon for years. And I feel like I was so thankful to see one of her of, 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 of i can't even talk i'm like shaking. I was so thankful to see one of her videos that I felt like I need to say something about this because i haven't seen anything like this from south african content creators and if you are a south african content creator and you watch my channel please do me a favor and you've done a video like this or very similar to this please link it down below so that i can see and talk to you and um you know just you, so you can have somebody else that you feel is going through the same thing um so in my case it's been difficult it's been hard i have actually been um as you guys know i'll link the video where i spoke about uh getting diagnosed with gad so i i struggle with gad and i i know about my anxiety i'm so nervous hang on so if you've been following this channel for a while you know that i got diagnosed with gad i did a whole video about it there goes the sun again <laughs> i did a whole video about it and i'll link it uh down below but since lockdown i have been really 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 struggling with um my anxiety um i can barely even talk right now because it's hitting me so hard i feel like do i take a break do i go on but i'm gonna go on we're gonna push on and so i've been struggling with that and i've been watching content creators i've been watching people that i follow just casually posting up videos in 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 um you know in makeup and great clothes and looking really nice and you know just you know continuing on like nothing like the whole world hasn't just flipped on its side you know and for me i can't do that and maybe yes they don't struggle with anxiety and maybe they don't struggle with depression or what have you but i feel like in this time you don't really necessarily have to struggle with it to be going through uh emotions of fear and anxiousness and just emotions of uncertainty and worry and i feel like people are just posting and posting and it's just like I can barely even get out of bed some days and for me this whole lockdown period let me tell you when it started 
I'm just going to be talking, guys. So I hope that that that's okay. There's no structure to this. But let me tell you, when this lockdown period started, when it started, I thought, that's great. I'm a homebody. I am okay with being in my space by myself. And I'm okay with this. I'm not going to be one of those who's going to struggle with this because I'm going to be just fine. I read and I'm going to get a chance to sleep and exercise the, um, you know, the, 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 the processes that I have, um, developed to help me on days where I am anxious and what have you. So I'll be absolutely fine. I was for five days, maybe just under a week. And a couple of days in, I had a low day. And when that low day happened, I could not, for the life of me, do anything. Nothing. And I am somebody who finds a lot of satisfaction, joy, happiness, self-worth in being productive. So I find a lot of joy in cleaning my house. I find a lot of joy in putting out vlogs and content. I find a lot of joy in putting uh, cooking. I find a lot of joy in what did I say? Cleaning my house, like literally doing all these things upside down, turning the whole house upside down and just being productive. I am happy when I'm productive and I feel like I have achieved something when I'm productive. I realize now during this lockdown, how unrealistic that is and how it is actually doing me a disservice to um, want that for myself, to, to want some sort of self-worth, happiness, you know, excitement and whatever for being productive because I had to remind myself that it's okay not to be productive. This, I read a quote, uh, I read a quote and I don't know if I have it on my phone, but I'll check. I don't know if I have it on my phone, but I read a quote a couple of days ago and I thought, yes, preach. I thought for the first time I read something that resonates with me particularly so much that I felt like it's okay to have these low days, like a lot of low days, a lot of low days. It's okay not to want to put your makeup on. This is the first time in two weeks that I've put my makeup on. And I just feel it's okay. But I read this and it said, I don't know who needs to hear this. But you don't have to use this time to try and do everything you've always wanted to do. Ever. And you're not a failure if you aren't using this as extra credit time. It's a pandemic, not a productivity contest. And I thought, I'm not trying to be this. I'm not trying to achieve this in this time. I'm just trying to get through the day. And my anxiety has peaked so much, more so on the days where, oh my God, it gets, sometimes it gets just so debilitating. It's bad. And I'm trying to keep the tears away. But on the days where I go out, it gets even worse. And it's just like terrible. So um, I wanted to come on here to share my experience. I wanted to come on here to share what I've been going through with the anxiety. And to have people who are struggling with the same thing who may be watching this to have them understand that you are not alone in this you aren't oh my god you aren't alone in this it's a struggle it's a pandemic there are people who just don't understand how some people online can just go about like nothing is wrong i'm one of those people I'm struggling to understand how some, some people are doing it. I'm struggling to understand how some people are wearing makeup every day. I'm struggling to understand. <sighs> so I just wanted to let whoever is struggling with this know that you are not the only one who's struggling with it. You're not. Um, uh, there's many of us. And I feel... Over the last couple of days, over the last week or so, 
things started changing for me because I started to write everything down. So not only did I write just how I'm feeling every day down in a journal, I did that. However, at the same time, I made um, just like lists and notes for myself of, you know what, if you can just achieve one small task today, one small task, that's enough for today. If that includes washing the dishes or making your bed and that's all you felt like doing today, that's enough. And it's helped. For me, it's really, really helped. It's helped me not to put so much pressure on myself to be productive. And I know the, the, the processes that I would need to take on a day where I'm anxious. I mean, I'm already taking medication for my anxiety, but on the days where I'm really, really anxious, I know what I need to take to be okay or do to be okay. I need to sleep. I sleep a lot. I sleep a lot. Okay, but the adverse side of that is that sometimes because I've been sleeping throughout the day, I can't sleep at night or I wake up at one o'clock. But nevertheless, when I am feeling anxious, I sleep a hell of a lot. I sleep a hell of a lot. Um, I cook. Something about cooking makes me feel happy. It's therapeutic. I clean. I know that you've seen it in some of my vlogs where I clean. I clean. I cook. I water my plants. For me, my plants are everything to me. They're my babies. I speak to my plants. I water them. I cook. I clean. I do whatever it takes to rest my mind and rest my mental state because it is important. So I feel like exercise that. Take it upon yourself to think about what 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 makes you relaxed what makes you in a happier space what puts you in a happier space um and do that i feel like right now you are excused if you can't treat this pandemic as a time where you can be productive where you can look your best where you can whatever you are absolutely excused and chances are <clears throat> and chances are a lot of the time you're not alone because I, this is the first time I've worn makeup in two weeks and chances are I'm going to go another two weeks without wearing it. So you're not alone. Um, that's all I'm going to do and say for now, I will come in in the next two weeks because I don't know how long I'm going to be home for. I've just got so many concerns for just life after now, family, friends, jobs, loss of job, everything. I spoke about it in one of my vlogs. I speak about it all the time in my vlogs. So please subscribe so that if you're going through a slump, catch one of my vlogs. Chances are I'll be speaking about it. Um, but take this time to actually heal yourself and be in your own space and you don't have to be productive. You don't have to be training every day. You don't have to be wearing makeup every day. You just have to be doing you and what makes you happy and what makes you feel safe and what makes you um, uh, uh, put yourself in a better mental state. That's what you need to be doing, focusing on you and taking care of yourself and taking care of your health. That's pretty much it. I know I rambled in this video, my God. But I hope you're good. Take care of yourself.